Hey guys, today we are going to talk about a deck that won GP Dallas, which was a modern tournament. This deck is extremely unique in the fact that it is incredibly affordable, at least previous to the tourna tournament. Outside of the Blood Moons, there's really no cards that are extremely expensive. So you have your Anger of the Gods, you have your Cough. Yes, that Planeswalker. You even have a Chandra, the new one. You have your Storm Breath Dragons, interesting one, and Eternal Scourge, which is also a heavily unrated card. Your Anger of the Gods, your Lightning Bolt, the deck is called Scred because of the card. Magma Jet, you have your Spellbomb Relics, which is a lot cheaper now that they have been reprinted. You have your Mind Stones, you have your One of Battle Skull, and Free Blood Moons, again, very expensive. And your 20 snow covered mountains so the tw 20 snow covered mountains are now very difficult to get a hold of but before gp dallas you could get a snow covered mountain for 50 cents 75 cents maybe even less especially if you bought bulk now the sideboard also interesting you have the spree for the artifacts dragon's claw against other fast decks red decks in particular the molten rain one of the best land destruction the Graph Digger's Cage, Goblin Rabble Master. This deck is so ridiculous. And Ricochet Trap. Overall, definitely a deck that I was not expecting to win GP Dallas. A deck that is incredibly affordable. And the pieces of it just don't really make sense to me. I mean, you have Storm Breath Dragon, which is very good. But last time we saw it, it was standard. We've never seen it in modern. And the same can go with Goblin Rabble Master, especially in a non-goblin deck. Goblin Rabble Master is the only goblin in this deck, but it's good enough. So in terms of fighting against Infect, very good against Infect, very good against Dreads, lots of hate against Dreads. Good against Mono Red, which is uh, you know a lot faster than this deck. Overall, pretty strong meta. Like, it just beats every... I mean, it did beat every single deck in the meta. And it's incredibly fun. Uh, very, very cheap. Very inexpensive. You can substitute a lot of the cards out. You don't need Blood Moon. You don't need Chandra. You don't need a ton of these cards. But the basis of the deck is very simple. It is a fun, fast deck. I advise you to... Now, if you can trade into it, trade into it. I think it's going to be a strong deck for some time to come. But it is a deck that we're talking about. Cough. I mean, the last time we saw him was like never. Um, Pierre and Karen Nalar. Relatively cheap. Storm Breath Dragon. Great mythic, but we have never. It's really never seen modern play before. Eternal Scourge, still in standard. Anger to Gods, under two dollars. Lightning Bolt, Magma Jet. All these things are incredibly affordable. But you do have to be careful and not buy into the spike. I think this deck will go down tremendously in price. We're currently looking at the spike. Uh, and this card went up from just over $5 to 13 But when you talk about what other cards you could be using, Misty Rainforest, any Fetch Land, any Shock Land, it's reasonable. Anyway, fun, fun deck. Bye, guys.